These are the instructions for printing out a PDF digital pattern from my website, londonjacksleather.com. Now this particular pattern is 16 pages long and with it, you'll be able to build a copy of the rig used by Clint Eastwood in many of his classic Westerns. Now, first thing I recommend is checking that your printer will print actual size. You do not want it to vary the dimensions of the pattern in any way. And as this is a 16 page PDF, I recommend you just print page number one, because on there is a scale marking for six inches. So if you print that one off and it measures exactly six inches, you'll know that the printer is printing to actual size and the rest of the pattern will come out as intended. And once you've got all the pages printed off, you'll notice that there's a black line or gray line all around the edge. And there's also these registration marks. So you're gonna to need to trim off the excess. So just get a nice straight edge and a nice sharp blade. Just trim all these edges. Just like this. So once you've got all the edges trimmed, then you can start assembling the pattern. As you can see there, line up the registration marks and that's the start of the pattern. Now, what I like to use is a bit of masking tape. You can use clear tape. And masking tape on the back. See, we've got A1 there, A2 here. So now it's just a case of making sure those registration marks nice and lined up. Don't want to rush this bit. Stick it down. There we go. Next piece. Tape on the back, A3, get the registration marks lined up perfectly. There we go. And So on and so forth until we've got the whole pattern assembled. As you can see, that's the end panel. So take your time cutting all the panels out nice and carefully. Tape them together and you'll end up with a large pattern like this. It's got all the pieces and parts on there. Plenty of detail and instruction and tips about how to make the rig. And then what I recommend uh, you do is uh, get some get some carbon paper from a stationer's and uh, that will make it nice and easy to transfer this pattern onto some nice stiff cardboard. Now you can use poster board that you can get in uh, Dollar General or somewhere like that. And I, I like to use this quite thick card I buy it on Amazon great for making patterns <clears throat> so what you'll do is uh, get get your carbon paper lay out several sheets oops there it goes on the floor you can see this is well used it'll make a lot of patterns Lay your pattern on there. Make sure you're covering the whole area. 
which we are. So I recommend using a ballpoint pen. You're going to want to trace on the inside line just to be nice and accurate. And it really is very important to follow the inside of the line when you're tracing out the pattern. I've used my original card templates to create these patterns. So uh, by following, following the inside line, you're going to have an exact copy of the patterns that I use. So if we're lucky, I've covered everything under there. And we should have, there we are. Now you'll cut this out with a sharp knife, punch out these holes, put any markings on. I recommend like here, you don't need any glue between these pieces. And um, you wanna punch, the, punch all these holes out first when you've cut your piece out. So this is my original pattern. As you can see, goes on there. Perfect fit. So thanks for watching, hope that helps you. Any questions, um, drop them in the comments box below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.